Welcome back to the Techery, today we're going to be exploring the slash tail roar command in Minecraft. So what does the slash tail roar command do in Minecraft, I hear you cry? Well it essentially allows messages to be sent to players whether that is individually or within groups. You can do this by doing slash tail roar space a group or player which for me I'm going to do all players which is symbolized with at a quote marks and you can write a message. This has now been sent to every player on the server or world that you executed the command in. These messages can also be customized using JSON format, which will look a little something like this. However, this can get very long and complicated as you add more aspects to the message. Now it is actually quite hard to write correctly formatted Minecraft JSON. So although you could learn, the majority of people these days use Tailroar editors which can be widely found on the greater internet. So if you head over to your web browser, which for me is going to be Google Chrome, and head to the first link in the description which is Minecraft Tools, and go to the Tailroar section, you'll be presented with this web page. This is an amazing tool and there are many aspects which you can use to customise your messages and make them look more appealing to people. So say I wanted to put subscribe to the Techery. We now have written our message. Well this will just be normal in quote marks because we haven't customised it at all. However we can now highlight a section and make it bold we can make it italics, we can make it underlined, we can strike through, and we can do... So basically, it creates this effect, which you've all seen in Minecraft before. So let's undo this. I would just like it to be normal text just here, so subscribe to the temporary and we'll un underline that. The next symbol we have across here is how you add symbols. Open to the menu to add special characters. All of these will work perfectly fine in Minecraft and you can pick any that you would like. The next one we have is the color wheel. You can highlight text and then hover over the color wheel and pick colors. If you're in 1.16 plus you can also have all 3.9 million colors I'm pretty sure at your disposal so for me I'm going to just pick this nice green then the techery is going to be aqua and these are going to be red there we go and if we preview this that's what it will look like in chat so now if we generate this command you can now copy whichever version you are on and head back to Minecraft and paste in your chat. And now you have that message in your chat. However, as we get further through this tutorial, there is more complicated messages you can send in chat. These will require a use of a command block. So to give yourself a command block, do slash give your username and then command block. There we go. So now we have a command block and place that down ready for later on in the tutorial. So head back to your browser and let's keep customizing this message. So the next thing we have along here is the click event. So say we wanted to highlight the subscribe button then we could now click on the click event we could enter a web URL. So I'm going to make this go to HTTPS colon slash slash youtube dot com there we go so now it will open that url when this button is clicked and go to it in your web browser we can now remove this if we would like with the remove button and obviously we can edit it by clicking that one again. There are also other things you can do, which is copy text to clipboard, run command, suggest command, suggest text. These are all available if you would like to use them. We then have Techery, which we're going to make a hover message, which you click this one. 
and you can write something to be placed in the hover message. So I'm going to put Techery is the best channel. I've made a bit of a mess of it there. There we go. And that will be perfectly put on the hover. Once again, you can remove that if you would like. If not, you can leave it there. So now if we preview this, you can see this opens youtube.com and this says the best, Techery is the best channel. We can now generate that command. And as you can see, it is much longer. So when we copy that and go back to Minecraft, we will find that if you paste it in with control V, it doesn't fit in your chat. This is where the command block comes in. So if you go in here and do control V, the command will be pasted into the command block and you can hit done. You now want to get yourself a redstone torch and place it next to the command block power up and as you can see this has appeared in chat so here we go we have subscribe if you click that it says do you want to go to this website i'm not going to do it but if you hit yes it would go to youtube.com if you hover over techery it says techery is the best channel then back to the website you have all these other options which could change the selector of the entity, define a score to change, insert a keybind. There are many more things you can do. Down here, you can change the group of players you want to message, as I showed earlier. So when you're doing your slash tell rule, this second parameter is what you enter into that box. So I could enter just 10 creepcraft. And then you will see that when we do the generate command, it now just says tell 10 creepcraft rather than at A. You've obviously got below here all the older versions, and there you have it. That is Minecraft tell command in a nutshell. So if you found this video useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you have any problems, please comment down below and I will try to solve them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and goodbye.